Hello everyone, uh, just grabbed the coffee, sat down, relaxed, and uh, really getting ready to get into some of these questions. We got a lot of good ones, so without further ado, let's get into it. Where did I grow up? Great question. I grew up in a small community called Southern Harbor. I lived there for the first 17 years of my life. It's been an hour and a half outside of St. John's. Beautiful community, beautiful people. I lived there with my mother, my father, and my two brothers. Uh, yeah, it's still home to me. I love going back home. And uh, yeah, so to sum it up, I lived in a small community called Southern Harbor. Check it out. What makes me happiest in life? Another great question. Uh, outside of being with my family, because that's number one to me. I love being with my family, around my family, doing everything with my family. But what makes me happiest in life is probably experiencing whatever I can out of life. Uh, I love putting myself in uh, uncomfortable situations. I love experiencing new things, just trying, just jumping into the unknown and just living my life that way and uh, getting as much experience as possible. So I would definitely say that's what makes me happiest in life is just experiencing as much as I can. Oh, this is a good question. What would have been my strategy if I had have made it to the final five with the entire crown? Hmm. I mean, I guess you would have had to be there to know exactly what my strategy would have been. But uh, ultimately, uh, my thought process would have been, okay, how am I going to get me and my guy Hope to the final two? To be completely honest, no disrespect to the rest of the crown members. I love you, but that's my guy Hope. Ooh, great question. What prompted me to try out for BB Can? Well, the two years leading up was really rough. COVID, I lost my father. Eight months later, I lost my mother. So I really realized that uh, life can't be taken for granted. Uh, you're not guaranteed tomorrow. You really got to value and take advantage of the time you have on this planet. Uh, do the things that make you happy. Chase the goals. Chase your dreams. Do all those things. Uh, I mean, it was always a lifelong dream of mine to be on BB Can. Uh, I've watched it with my mother for years. I've watched it with my wife. And I just took the leap. I jumped into the unknown and I did an application up. I sent it in and, look, and luck have it that uh, my dreams came true. One of my dreams came true. So it goes to show you just like chase your goals. Your dreams are reachable. And just keep going. Just keep jumping into things. Keep trying new things. And just really get as much out of this life as you possibly can. Uh, and BB Cam was one of my dreams. I made it happen, uh, and I'm very thankful for it. Ooh, great question. Uh, who showed the most heart? Well, everybody at one point of the game or another showed incredible heart. I mean, you had Hope, Ty, Renee, and Can't Stop, Won't Stop, fought, beat herself up. You had Claudia uh, with the showmance and going against that and really standing on her own two feet and fighting for her own game. She showed incredible heart, but Shania showed amazing heart to me. She stands out. She, even in the HOH that Ty won the first one, she fought against herself and stayed in the game. And then winning that POV, then going against the house to save her friend. I mean, Shania's heart is incredible. It stands out to me right now. I have nothing but the utmost respect for her. And, and she, when she started believing in herself, she really fought and fought in that game so Shania's heart is probably one of the ones that stands out to me in her fight in that game but uh, at the end of the day everybody showed heart to me in that game everybody fought for their game in themselves so but uh, definitely Shania stands out what is my next goal in life uh well is to keep pushing forward I mean I don't know what's going to come next uh, there's a few things on the table a few ideas uh coming my way right now I'm just kind of trying to get my feet settled in real in life again but uh, I'm definitely open to any and all opportunity that comes from this whole thing. I do feel like I found where I belong and that's in front of the camera where hopefully maybe another reality opportunity, maybe an acting opportunity, maybe a modeling opportunity, maybe all of them, maybe none of them. Uh, I'll be very thankful for any and all opportunity that come my way. And I definitely will not turn down any opportunity to chase more goals and make more dreams come true. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely chasing my goals and chasing my dreams and thankful for this whole experience and thankful for the opportunities it's given me. And, uh, right now just enjoying life, enjoying everything that comes with the aftermath of the show, but I'm definitely got my ear to the ground. I'm ready for the next thing. I found them. Okay. I mean, I put some syrup and some blueberries on there and maybe even some bananas and just destroyed them. So, I mean, I thought they were okay.
Yes, I have been to Labrador mostly for work. I haven't gotten to Lab City. I'm really looking forward to getting up to Lab City for a trip and really enjoying the town. Uh, I have a lot of friends who I've either been there or have lived there and they say amazing things. So I'm looking forward to getting up there and checking it out for myself. Yes, actually there's something in the works right now I'm super excited about. Uh, I won't say too much right away until all the details are hashed out, but there definitely is something in the works that I'm super excited about. Um, so the answer being yes, there will be something coming very soon. And as soon as I know, you will know. So maybe I'll see you soon. Most challenging thing probably had to be just getting comfortable i mean getting comfortable with the people you're sharing the house with uh getting to know people i mean first when you walk in there you don't know anybody so you really got to build relationships and like you're sharing bedrooms with people uh, you're sharing a bathroom with people so just really getting comfortable with uh where you're going to live for the next x amount of days so definitely was just finding my comfort zone and getting into it and just finding your place in the house Life's been good. Really enjoying the downtime, relaxing with my family. Uh, the only tough adjustment has been I don't get to see the people I've grown close with over the show. I mean, I'm home in Newfoundland and a lot of the friends that I've made over the show are all over Canada. I mean, Toronto, Victoria, Saskatchewan, all over the place. So not being able to see them when I want to is kind of an adjustment. Uh, but hey, I mean, I will see them again, and uh, we stay very close, uh, FaceTime, all that good stuff. Uh, but uh, life's been great, man, just really enjoying it and uh, taking it all in and enjoying the aftermath. Ooh, good question. Um... I'll start off with my least favorites. Uh, my least favorite moment was watching, you know, Rob walk out the door, Rob getting evicted. Uh, the feeling I had when he walked out the door was incredibly low. Uh, I felt like ultimately I lost my best friend at the time and I felt my game was on the line. Uh, another moment that stands out was sitting on the block with my brother and, you know, brother in arms, Hope. Uh, that feeling really sucked. Uh, so those were my two least favorite moments. Uh, my favorite moment of the whole entire game had to be getting voted Canada's favorite player on the finale stage. That was incredible. I will remember that for the rest of my life. It brings me joy just thinking about it right now. Um, I mean, how thankful I am for that moment. Uh, I can't describe, so it definitely stands out as one of my favorite moments when Arissa announced my name uh, as Canada's favorite player. You know, it was incredible and beautiful. So definitely my favorite moment. 